Hello and welcome to the SA2 overview for the Access Leadership and Scholarship Initiative. Keep in mind there are four essays for the scholarship. Each is 500 words or less. So check out the other four when you're ready. Uh, I'm gonna take us through question number two for the application. Let's read it together. Essay number two says, describe a concrete way that your cultural or ethnic background has shaped your life. Reflecting on that background, what unique perspectives and strengths would you bring to a... So there are a few things happening in this question. I think I'll start from the very bottom. An Act 6 cadre is what we call our small cohort groups. So really when we say a multicultural Act 6 cadre, what we're saying is... How would you hope to grow personally as a part of a group of people who are your peers but have different experiences? So think about your friend groups, which you know you and your friends are not all the same. You have different perspectives, different home lives, different communities. How will being a part of a group like that benefit you? That's one part of the question. And then that middle section, what unique perspectives and strengths would you bring to a college campus? What about your background? What about your experiences? do you think has given you the tools to navigate college, right? Are you open-minded? Are you strong? Are you a good studier? Are you full of perseverance? Do you have a lot of grit and determination? Think about those aspects of your personality and how that would help you in college. If you have a bit of trouble talking positively about yourself or you're, you know, you're not so good at bragging on all of your skills, go to the people in your community and ask them, hey, what do you think my gifts are? Go to your uh, teachers and your mentors, your supervisors, if you're working, go to your parents, your family members, your siblings, and say, what do you think is my best strength? Or what are some unique things about me that you think makes me ready to go to college? And then the first part of that question, which we often find students identifies the most difficult question of all, describe a concrete way that your ethnic or cultural background has shaped your life. Oftentimes we get students who think I have to be of a particular race or ethnicity to answer this question, but ethnicity and cultural background are two very different things. You can talk about your race and how that's impacted you. You can talk about your nationality, where your family is from, where your home country is from, where your home geographic location is from, and how that's impacted you. That's one way to answer the question. Uh, but if you'd like to explore some other things, you can talk about, uh, for example, What's a concrete way that being a woman or being a man has shaped you? What's a concrete way that being a bilingual person has shaped you? What's a concrete way that being a part of the military or being in a military family has shaped you? Or being someone with, uh, who has navigated a medical system or being someone who has traveled for family work, those types of things. All of those things are excellent ways to narrow down that question. What we'd like you to do is pick one. You might be tempted to pick all the different aspects of your identities, um, all the different ways that you appear in the world, which we know are important, but you also only have 500 words for each essay. So pick one aspect of your cultural identity or your ethnic background to focus on and then work from there. If you identify as someone who is a woman, what unique perspectives and strengths has navigating the world as a woman given you that will help you in your college campus. And think about how you wanna to continue to grow in your identities, but alongside people who are different than you. So if that's you, you should be applying to Act 6.